In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop 5-6 trap in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is about how to help people become better Madden players in Madden 21. And we do that through tips and strategies just like the one that you're about to watch. Now in today's video, I wanted to specifically talk for just a second on a run play that I've been getting a lot of questions about and that's the 5-6 trap. It seems like a lot of people that run the nickel 335 wide defense that I put out have been having some issues. So I wanted to put out kind of a generic tip for everybody. Now again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, it shows you how to stop every single run in the entire game, and it shows you also some really great defenses against the pass. That is in the description. Real quick, before we go any further, I did want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the video, you can go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so this concept applies to pretty much any play out of 335 wide. Now, this can also apply to nickel normal. There's a different way to do it out of nickel normal, and there's obviously a different way to do it out of 335 normal as well. But what I wanted to talk to you specifically about today is how to do it out of 335 wide. And when you're facing something like 56 trap, generally I like to shift them this direction and shoot this way. The problem with 56 trap is the trap blocking kind of pins your user and you've probably seen that before. They're able to get out of the pocket and go. One of the other tips that I like to do and more recently I've actually really liked this run defense is to basically crash your line down user over the middle and essentially shoot right through but as you can see again five six trap kind of pins you down and keeps you from doing that so this is where you kind of have to lab a little bit and say sometimes run defenses are different formation to formation and so if they're running five six trap on you all you have to simply do is shift your line to the right or i'm sorry to the to the um weak side or not weak side, I guess, but you, you shift your defensive line away from the running back. And what you're going to find here is this is going to open up this, this gap shoot right there for Darnell Savage. Now, let's say you wanted to spread your line, right? Let's say you wanted to spread your line because you wanted to make this look exactly the same as some of your pressure. Well, once again, same kind of thing. So again, if you stand kind of right in this area right here, you do have a chance to shoot it basically in behind where the pulling guard is. The problem is, in my opinion, it's much, much easier just to shoot it by shifting your D-line to the right for this in particular formation. If you if you don't want to do that, I understand that. But again, if you're standing kind of right here, what you're going to do is at the snap of the ball, you're just going to kind of loop around. But you see, it's kind of hard to do it with two controllers. But there is a window to shoot it right there. And then one other way I want to show you as well, and I I didn't create this one. Um, I actually saw this in a tournament, but basically, um, they're gonna. You can kind of stand like right here, and so if they run it, you just come through. But as you can see, sometimes you get pinned, you know, and and sometimes it is what it is. Um, but my preferred method for shooting it is simply shifting away from the 0-1 trap, and then standing kind of right in this little pocket right here, and you'll you'll have a lot of success right here. Now, sometimes if you don't stand, you want to kind of hide behind the um you you want to kind of hide behind this guy right here so you want to kind of be like right in here and this doesn't mess with any of your pressure really because as you can see if i want to send pressure i just have to kind of get like right in here and again snap of the ball and for some reason i'm getting pinned i shouldn't be getting pinned right there i should have been able to get out of there i don't know what happened i might be too i might be just a little bit too close and again, it's literally as simple as just standing like right here. And for whatever reason, I'm getting pinned like crazy. But normally, like I said, you 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 normally you saw it in the very beginning. Um, if they run five six trap, you know you should be able to do that. You can try even crashing your line a little bit differently too for trap runs. Um, some you see there it is right there. Um, but sometimes you have to crash it a little bit differently. Now, that's a little bit different. That's um, like trips, right? Tray open, that'll apply to um, other things like that that will apply to. Now, what about um, like a slot offset, for example? What would you do? Uh, what would you do if you were facing a slot offset? Well, uh, what I would I would keep the rule the same here, and the reason why is because the 0-1 trap from a slot offset is a little bit different than the 0-1 than a 5-6 trap. Um, they're blocked a little bit differently. And you'll see that whenever I try to go to this. So um, you'll see here my slot's on the wrong side of the field here. So I basically have to go to cover four, and then I have to basically man align to get them to line up 
properly where they're supposed to be here. So you'll see, again, we'll move this around. We might have to flip the play entirely. Uh, but basically, we get the, get the guys where we want them to be. And again, we're going to shift our line to the running back side now. Um, and as you'll see here, this is 0-1 trap from a slot. You can actually shoot that one a lot easier. As you can see, the, 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 the red C parts, you're able to get through and you're able to go um, and get the, get the play. So it's a little bit different than, um, than this one. Now this one, you can, um, you just need really, really good user for the 5-6 trap out of U-trips, um, but it's, it's not easy, as you can see. But you also see you get a lot of different sheds and things like that that will help uh, with this running play. There is definitely a way to do it if you're sitting right here, but I'm just saying it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult to shoot it from this alignment than from the other one. So that's just something that's like, okay, if I'm facing U trips, you know, just shift them the opposite direction and you'll be fine. You won't get that right there um, and you won't have to deal with that. So, anyways, guys, that's how you shoot it from U trips. That's how you shoot it from a lot of five, six traps are similar. So, if they're running trap, just shift to away from the running back. Now, granted, if they're running inside zone, that might give some, you know, you know, they might have some opportunity there. But overall, for the totality of your run defense, that will help, and that will take care of that. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of the screen. And if you'd like to get the full defensive ebook that shows you not only how to stop the run, but also how to stop the pass, it is in the description of this video. Thanks for your time, and we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.